guys, uh, another YouTube channel. Uh, early in the morning here, so I'm actually kind of thinking straight. Uh, so went out for about 300 mile trip, three days, um, probably more miles than just 300. Um, uh, good ride. Blew a belt uh, on this side. I just got everything off right now, but um, so yeah, harassment began because I was riding with a lot of skidoers, but uh, that's besides the point. So blew a belt. <clears throat> After I blew a belt, my backup uh, ringer, uh, it's a beeper, uh, just like a, well you guys will know if you got a cat, it's there's a backup beeper for these ones. Um, oh, excuse me. Um, <clears throat> so anyways, there's a backup beeper when you put it in reverse. The problem here is that the backup beeper stays on when you're driving forward, so really annoying. So there's a couple, two different things uh, I'll show you guys. One is the easy fix, unplug the beeper. <coughs> but then what will happen is, let's see if I can get the camera in there. There we go. So see that wire? That wire leads to that this speaker. That's your beeper speaker right there, that thing with the four, uh, five holes in it. Let's see if I can get better light on it <clears throat> with all the shadows. That's your beeper. So you could just unplug your beeper and the noise is gone. You know, but when you put it in reverse and then back into forward with no beeper, the wrench light comes on, which is kind of annoying until you shut the slide off then turn it back on and then the wrench goes away so for me that's kind of annoying i want to find the problem so the real problem is we're going to look on the clutch side and there's a sensor for the reverse beeper and this sensor has popped off so here's the sensor okay you got to take your secondary off i'll assume you guys know how to do that you pull your secondary off there's a plate i'll show you the plate I took the plate off already. I don't want to show you guys like boring stuff like how to take a plate off. So that plate goes right in here and you can't see it, right? One bolt, one nut, I mean, take the nut off, slide the plate out, and boom, in there is the sensor. Sure enough, there's a rubber boot. See, here's the rubber um, elastic band. That slips over these clips to hold it in place. So if it's popped out, which it was, it was popped out like that, your beeper's gonna go all the time. Push it in, beeper's off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this rubber band back on, pushing the little clips down. I don't know if you could see the little clip, but here, it's right in there. Look in there. Pushing that little clip down And uh, anyways, it'll push that clip down and then I'm gonna f put a small zip tie and I'm gonna wrap the zip tie around the rubber band to hold this in place so that it doesn't ever kind of come apart. What happened was when the belt snapped, <clears throat> the reaction of the belt snapping must have hit the guard and somehow vibrated this thing loose, which is you know why the beep the beeper would go on all the time so that's your permanent fix once you take that plate off and you look in there um, you'll find the problem and uh, yeah that's what you need to do so I will maybe show a quick little video of what it's done when it's complete with the zip tie and the rubber band around it but just to show you guys but other than that that's uh, pretty much it so uh, yeah, this is to fix that beeping noise. If it stays on constantly and, uh, and doesn't shut off, then uh, this, is, this is where your problem will be, most likely. All right guys, thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see you in the next video. Just a final note to the last video we did. 
Okay, so I got that sensor. Just gonna try to shine a light on there. There's the sensor. Let's see if I can actually balance, do a balancing act. Here's that rubber thing I was telling you about, but I'm gonna slide that off. Okay, and there's the clip. See how the zip tie is nicely pushed those little copper uh, gold clips down? And now this thing's not gonna, like it's tight. So we're good. I'm gonna take this rubber boot, slide it over. Like we're gonna, I'm gonna slide it right over the yellow zip tie. And then, uh, should be golden. So it shouldn't beep anymore. And, uh, beeping issue resolved. So hopefully this helps somebody out in the future. Um, of course, <clears throat> I, my, all my videos are just, they're whatever. They're not professional by any means. And I'm, I'm not doing this to really make any kind of living. I'm just doing this to help somebody out. Maybe another guy that, you know, is to save them, you know, going to the dealer or something like that. But if, if this helps anybody out, uh, please, you know, subscribe to the channel, add a like or share it. It all, uh, it's all pretty cool if you do that. So either, and if you don't, no worries either. Um, so that's pretty much it for the channel. I mean, not the channel, but for this video. And uh, it's a F series Articat F8, uh, but 07 and up. These were all pretty much the same with the reverse, the diamond di diamond drive reverse. All right, guys, thanks. Cheers.